Well, the worst selling car in August of 2024 isn't a shocker. Should be expected. But at least the supplies come down some. I wonder who the dumbasses are that are buying these. Let's discuss. What is up guys welcome on back to TK's garage and in today's video I'm talking about the worst selling vehicle in the United States for August of 2024 and that is none other than the Dodge Hornet the Hornet is a disaster uh, if you get on any Facebook group reddit thread any anybody who's bought these vehicles have had nothing but problems with them. But just like any car, uh, you know, that 2.7 liter engine that, uh, you know, Mopar made a while back and the Magnums and stuff were a disaster too. But sometimes people get a good one. And when you get a good engine, they can run forever. And I've seen some people have had the Hornet, I think three. And that's why I wonder if they're just Dodge people, you know, people that work at the company talking about, I've, I've never had any issues, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but this vehicle is an absolute freaking disaster. I mean, just coolant issues, electrical issues, brick, can't start it, can't do anything. I, the list goes on and on. Just go Google about it. You'll see it. But anyways, I get a bunch of data in from uh, Lithia and AutoNation. And currently, right now, there's 432 days of supply between two of the largest uh, car dealer networks in the United States. In fact, there's also over, between these two dealer networks, over 10,600 and so available for sale. And I saw that Car Edge posted something uh, similar, I don't know if it was earlier today or yesterday, on um, this as well saying that there was over 14,000 available and that wouldn't surprise me in the least on a positive note for Dodge and I know we don't I know everybody says we don't talk about positive notes the last time we really talked about the Dodge Hornet I think it had 600 and something days of supply now I'm willing to bet the supply has been cut down to 430 days because one they ain't making none. And two, Stellantis Financial is doing, in this interest rate crazy market, uh, ridiculous offers like 0% for 84 months. 1.9% uh, or was it 0% or 1.9% for eight, well, either way, it was almost free money to finance a Hornet. And at that point, I mean... I still think they're going to depreciate like a rock and you're still going to be in an upside down scenario before you reach the warranty at 36,000 miles. But, you know, if you're able to pick up a unlimited mile or several hundred thousand mile, you know, Mopar warranty with it, you know, I can understand people buying it as a daily driver. I just couldn't tell you that it would actually work as a daily driver. There's so many of these things dying for no reason. And it's crazy. They'll go to a dealer, get an update, and then, you know, people are driving them again. But I don't, I just, I don't see any way to recommend this vehicle. I know they keep trying to run the ads. And every time you see them post this thing on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere else, just go to the comments and look what the people say about it. And that's people that don't own them. Then go to Facebook and look what the owners say about them. <laughs> Not really great. Anyways, it was just a story I wanted to bring to you because uh, to see it as the worst selling car in August doesn't surprise me. I think it'll be the worst. Even with those incentives, it's, that's the biggest story, right? Even with those incentives, markdowns, everything else, they can't sell these. This is a, a very prime indicator of what we're going to see with the electric Dodge Chargers when they hit the market. 
Don't believe me? Come back to this video so I can tell you I told you so in a few months. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.